I'm Justin here with Spikes and Gills. I hope you enjoyed the last episode, which was on baiting the main bobcat. And it was the first of several bobcat hunts to come on my channel. I'll be uploading the next bobcat hunt this coming Thursday night by 7 p.m. But first off, tonight's episode is about brook trout fishing. Since it's ice fishing season, I've decided to upload a fishing episode and one hunting episode every week. I upload twice a week, every Sunday night, which is going to be ice, some ice fishing episode. And every Thursday night at 7 p.m. is going to be a hunting episode. All right, everyone, in this episode, I'm after the brook trout through the hard water. There's at, currently at this time, there's seven inches of ice, and I'm using my first ever K-drill with my 20 volt DeWalt drill. And I'm also using in this episode my first ever Garmin Striker 4 Flasher depth finder built with a built in GPS. I've got my ice transducer on. And because of that Garmin Striker 4, I was able to find where the brook trout were holding. I'm flasher fishing. I'm actually using this flasher on the Garmin Striker 4 to find where the brook trout are holding in the column, the water column. I'm finding 14 and a half feet. And 21 feet in this area where I'm ice fishing and I found out that the brook trout were holding at the six seven foot depth mark in this lake and this Garmin Striker 4 helped me catch some brook trout and you've got to see how this all turns out and this all starts right now There's not too many, not too many people out. So it looks like it's me and these couple guys. I'm after the brook trout. Yeah, there's no size or bag limit on largemouth bass and pickerel and other junk trash fish out here. But I'm hoping to catch some brook trout. So stay tuned. These K drills call for a 20 volt. But I'm wondering how she'll do on a on an 18 volt. But I do have a Dewalt 20 volt. Six inch micro. My first one never owned one. Curious to see how. Woo, she worked. That's slick. That's some, uh, some pretty slick stuff right there. The K drill. My first time using this Garmin Striker 4. It is cold, it's 20, 20 degrees and a wind chill, and I am frozen. Yeah, I've never used this Garmin Striker 4. Sonar, flasher, depth finder, built in GPS, it has all that. First one I've ever owned. Oh, I've got my. Got my fish scale to weigh my fish if, if I even get to fishing. I need I should put that right in my pocket. Yeah. I'm going to because I'm not fully equipped with everything I need for this. What I'm going to do is tie the wire to the the handle here, the side of my bag, holding all my battery and my my Garmin. I, I set this bag up just this afternoon. I, I cut some pine board to make a, a wood base to screw the base of the Garmin to. And I made a little pocket for the battery. That seems to work just fine, the bag and the setup here. So I'm going to tie the wire to the side here. Here, I'll put that down in. 
That way, it, the transducer's down in the hole just a couple inches. You don't need to put the transducer in all the way to the bottom or past the ice. You only need it in the hole a couple inches and it will start sounding. It will start trans do doing its thing and start sounding and, and getting information from any moving fish. It will get you your depth and you'll be able to see the movement of your fishing line and lure and see when there's any fish activities and you'll be able to watch the flasher to see when the fish is coming up to your lure to strike your lure. You'll be able to see all of that on the flasher screen on the Garmin Striker 4. Let's get it on flasher mode. She's on. Okay, let's go to flasher. Turn on flasher mode. And now it's showing nothing. Put the transducer in. Let's see what happens. Got. It's reading. It hasn't read nothing yet. Woo, it's windy. Oh, 15 feet here. Oh, wow. It's an interesting lake. I'm seeing activity at 11, between 7 and 11 feet. I think these lines right here are, there's some activity right there, some flashing going on. 14 and a half feet. Oh, so it went from 14 and a half to 21 feet to 14 and a half. There's a ridge behind me. It's an interesting lake. Water temp, 37 degrees for water temp. Yeah, 14 feet. Pretty deep here. Since I'm targeting brook trout. I don't need to go to 14 feet. I'm going to go down about six or seven then I'll put some traps at just three four feet the trout are gonna be about four or five feet under the ice so all right let's get to it all right we'll let it run give it some time yeah now you get to see see a youtuber work I guess all right oh. where is it Focus, yeah. Cool. Oh, it's spinning really hard. Look at it spin. It's whatever it is, it's running hard. Running hard. Yeah. I apologize ahead of time for the blurriness on this next scene. It's the first brook trout that I catch on my outing. But I, it was very sunny. I had a glare off my viewfinder on my camera. I'm self filming. And I thought that I focused on the trap so that way everything would be in focus. But because of the glare, I didn't quite get it focused enough. But it, it's good enough anyway for an amateur. But you got to check this out. This is the first brook trout caught on this trip. Down Easter exit, come hide. Pull it. <laughs> There's something there. Hopefully it's trout. I was down like a nice brook trout. That's what I was targeting. Beauty, beauteous. That's what I came here for. Okay, I can go home now and get dinner. <laughs> oh, I need pliers. Can't get the hook out. It, I think it's a uh, limit five, right? I'm gonna. Oh, he didn't swallow the hook. It's just on the lip. I'm going to let him go. He didn't swallow. If he swallowed, I, I like to keep them if they swallow the hook. Because trout die easy. They're very sensitive. But he, it's just in his lip so I can release him. So maybe she can catch him in a week or two. Or whatever. He, it's a nice one. Good one. I got a little excited there, didn't I? There. Oh, he's a beaut. There he is. Nice little, nice little brook trout. Oh, there he goes. He's back. He's done for. He released himself. I was down about six feet right here. Went with my line. 
What's cool is I saw the activity of the fish with my sonar, with my flasher, my sonar, my Garmin. I could see in every hole that showed fish act activity in every hole, so that's a good sign. We got the same, same flag up. Same one. Whew. Got me a Wonder if it's a wind flag though. No, it looks like it's moving. Is it running? It might be a wind flag. I think it's a wind flag. Oh no, there's something no, there's something. No, nope, there's Yeah, there's something there. Gotta wait. Let it run. It's gotta be a trout. It's playing with the bait. I'm waiting for it to run. There, somewhere. I can see the line. I'm waiting. Playing with it. I'm waiting for it to run. I don't want to. I made that mistake on that one. Because I'm using pretty big shiners. With their little dainty mouths, it take. I think they're playing with it. it. Takes them a while to. So I'm waiting for it to run. I'm gonna save my SD card space here. I'll wait. Run. I think I got it. I think I got it. Oh, I feel it. I feel it on there. I feel it. I don't know what it is, but I feel it. Oh, look, it's another brook trout, I think. It feels like another brook trout. It feels like another brook trout. Another brook trout. Another nice trout. Oh, it's tangling in my lawn. Tangling in my lawn. Try to get some pictures here. Oh, sweet. Yeah, another, another night. <laughs> mm. Slippery son of a gun. Oh, they're beautiful. Pretty fish. Nice. Oh, it's slippery. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna let them go. I could have kept both if I wanted to, but yeah, I'd have two nice pan fryers right here. Since they didn't swallow the hook, I'm not gonna keep them. They're still doing well. If they got the hook in their throats and were bleeding out, I'd keep them. But because I just got them in the lip, I can safely release them without harming the fish. Beautiful brook trout. They're about not, they've both been about nine to 10 inches. Okay, we're gonna let them go. YouTube, this is for my YouTube shorts. Oh, chain. Yeah. Oh, he just went in the hole. Oh, he's gone. Ah! Yeah. Ah, he, I jumped out of my hand right into the hole. Got it, whatever it is. Got it, he... Oh, I did have it. Spit it out. It was holding on to the bait, I think. And then it spit it out. Oh, it's running good. Running real good. Come on, run again. Come on. Come on, run again. Oh, I think it... I think it uh I think I got him. I think 
got it this time. We got it this time. Big one. Oh, that one's bigger. Woo, that's a nice one. Well, that's a nice one, dude. That one. It's a good one. That's a, it's a nice fish. Woo. It's bigger. It's the biggest, biggest one of the day. Oh, oh we got a hole. I don't know if I can get the hook out. My fingers are frozen. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Woo! Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Frozen. Oh. That's a nice one. It's a decent. That's like a 10 incher right there. It's the biggest one of the day. That's three brook trout in about three and a half hours of fishing. I'm catching them, I guess I'm like six, five, six feet under the ice. This is a nice one. Let me try my YouTube shorts. Yeah, so we got. Oh, it's brutal out here. I gotta get him back in the hole though. He's gonna freeze quick. Shabby. There he goes. Oh. Oh. Not too shabby for brook trout in Maine. I mean, they were like 10 to 11 inches. The last one definitely was a good 11 inches. That was the biggest brook trout of the outing. And I caught these trout in about three and a half hours of fish in total. I actually left an hour and a half before dark because it, the sun went down behind the trees and it got 10 times colder. I s suffered picking up all my gear, getting back to the truck. I was frozen. I couldn't feel my fingers. But it was a, a successful trip nonetheless for the first outing of the season. And there's many more ice fishing trips to come on my channel that you won't want to miss out. So be sure to subscribe. Click the subscribe button and the, the little the right corner there the lower right corner there's a subscribe button click that and you'll be notified of all the future uploads to come and i greatly appreciate you stopping by to watch this episode and if you haven't already won't you click that like button for me and definitely subscribe on your way out hey thank you for watching have a wonderful day mm -hmm.